Having a child with autism can sometimes take a toll on my mental. I find myself always thinking about his future and if something happened to me, what would happen to him? My biggest fear is him being all alone in this chaotic world by himself. He's young now, but when he grows up being black with autism doesn't look good to outsiders. They would assume he's on drugs or just crazy or something and he's just really having a sensory overload. See, there I go, overthinking again. And I wish he would stop running. And did you break another one of my chairs? Oh my God, you know, I can't keep nothing around here for you. Mommy angry. Okay? It's okay, mommy. Alright. Did you shit on yourself? Yeah. Yes. Look, I'm trying to sleep in camp. I gotta work. You need to make that little badass boy shut up. First off, watch your mouth. You already know what's going on. I don't even know why we keep going through the same shit. Just put your little ass on some medicine. That'll fix that. Fuck you. You go take some medicine. I'm gonna just call the damn police. That, that's all I'm gonna do. And that's gonna fix that shit. Call the police. They won't be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time. I don't give a fuck. Call the police. Mm -hmm. Butterbean neck ass. Counsel. So what color is Spongebob? Yeah. What color his hat gonna be? Purple. I called my sis over just to give me a little break so that I can get caught up on work. It takes a village. And my sister has so much patience with him. She's such a big help in our life. Once she left, I felt so inspired to do more with him. So I took him to nature. He loves nature. He gets to be free. He's peaceful and he's calm and he doesn't have sensory overload out here. I learned so much from my son. He teaches me patience. He teaches me balance. He teaches me to accept things that I cannot change. He also teaches me that it's okay to be different. And he's gonna have his days just like I have my days. And I'm gonna love him through it all. We all we got. Shaviella.